Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. Sorry about my voice. I have been under the weather the past few days and um, today is Friday when I'm filming this. Um, the 2nd of February. Might look like a little bit of a small haul and there is a major reason for that. Um, we are going to be moving. Um, we have our house in the market and we're looking to sell it as soon as possible. Um, obviously, you don't know when that will be and how long that will take. But in the meantime, um, all my grocery hauls are probably going to start looking a little bit different from time to time until we move because I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping in my freezers, my pantry to come up with my meal plans and really just be buying filler things that we go through on a regular basis. Um, so at least in now in the near future, um, each week I'm going to be again kind of pulling my menus and meal plans from what I have. So today I'm going to take you in my freezers and um, mainly my deep freezer and kind of share with you guys the things that I plan to use. Um, and I've talked about shopping in your own freezers and shopping in your own pantries before. Sometimes you really have to get in there and see what you have because a lot of times we forget. Um, but anyways, today from Walmart, I spent about $85. Um, and th these are all things that we go through and we will go through on a regular basis. I got a couple things of Mac, um, Mac and Cheese, the craft brand. Um, sometimes I'll make this for lunch. Um, sometimes Greggy has it for dinner. We have it as a, as a side. So I just got a couple. I'm not really going to be buying too much in bulk because, like I said, our house is on the market um, and we could sell, you know, hope we're looking to sell as soon as possible. Um, I got some chocolate chip Teddy Grahams, a box of penne pasta, some of these beet um, crackers, which are really, really good. I love these. I got some uh, cookies. These are the milk chocolate macadamia nut cookies. A lot of snacky things. It's Super Bowl this weekend, and because I'm under the weather, I kind of want to just stay home and kind of start working on getting my house organized and um, decluttered. So I got some cheddar cheese pretzels by Snyder's. I love these. Um, whenever I'm under the weather, always my whole adult life, I've always craved fruit and lots of it. I already have blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries in my fridge. So today I picked up pineapple chunks, some honey crisp apples, some kiwi, a pink grapefruit, a bunch of oranges, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but anyways, I got a couple bags of Pirates Booty. Grady's been asking for it lately. Um, again, pineapple, honey crisp, kiwi. I got some of this um, turkey breast for sandwiches next week. Never saw this before today. It was um, the Hormel Natural Choice Little Bacon Club wrap that I'm going to give to Matt next week one day for lunch as like a little side. I got some corn tortillas because I'm going to do beef enchiladas. Um, normally I do them with flour tortillas but I'm going to try it with the corn because a few people have said that they are better that way. I got some yogurt for Grady. This is the berry and strawberry. Uh, again the pink grapefruit. I got a yellow squash and two zucchini. Some danimals smoothies. I actually got some maraschino cherries because I'm going to make like a little fruit salad and regular cherries are not really in season right now so I thought that would be the closest thing. I'll obviously drain the um, the juice and just use the cherries. Some Encrustables, some Pringles, um, bag of cuties, some cage-free brown eggs, a loaf of the Dave's Killer Organic Bread, some tomatoes for salads and roasting and also a veggie platter because I'm going to do veggies and dressing or dip. For Super Bowl, got some broccoli on sale, um, which I'll use for again roasting, salads, and a veggie platter on Sunday for Super Bowl. My favorite little um, mini cucumbers, which I eat all the time. I cut them up and eat them for a snack with some hummus or ranch salads. They're just great. And then some spring mix um, as well for salads. So we're going to go out, head outside and, um, into the garage and check out this scenario um, in the freezer. All right guys, so first off, I'm in my garage fridge freezer. Um, I have a bunch of cheese, so I need to make sure, I'm gonna start making lists, like physically writing lists of things that I have an abundance of that I need to be able to use up because of, of course when we move, I can't take things like this with me. So I've got a bunch of cheddar cheese, which should be no issue using up. I've got a whole bunch of pierogies that I need to use up, some veggie pots, I've got some shredded potatoes some bread so I'll definitely make like a hash brown casserole so I'm just going to kind of start taking an inventory um let's head over to the deep freezer now and I'll show you guys what's in there all right so a bulk of the stuff that I'm going to need to use up is in here um because this is a decent sized deep freezer so 
I've got some Purdue chicken strips. Um, I will make these for Grady. I will bake them off and make um, cut them into strips for salads. Um, I've got pie crusts in here, so I'll make some quiche. Um, I've got chicken thighs. I should have separated these before I froze them, but I didn't. Um, so I will thaw these out, and then I'll do two dishes one week, whether it's this week, next week, whatever, of chicken thighs. Um, I've got shrimp that I have to thaw out Saturday because we're going to use this, um, at least some of this, for shrimp cocktail Sunday for Super Bowl. Um, I think this is from BJ's. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of go through here. I have a freezer, like a dump meal I have to use up. I have a big thing of bacon I need to use up. So what I'm going to do is just make a list on a piece of paper of all these kind of notable things to remind myself, A, not to buy them again until these are used up, um, and B, just for meal ideas. So that's how I'm going to work it, to try to utilize everything I possibly can before we move. So that's sort of like the grocery haul slash what's in my freezer for this week. So let me go ahead, work, um, make some paper, make some notes, write some things down, and then I'm going to come up with my meal plan, and I will share that with you guys at the end. All right, guys, meal plan for uh, Sunday the 4th through Saturday the 10th. I actually put Super Bowl, which is Sunday the 4th, on the bottom. I'm going to do that shrimp cocktail. Um, I'm going to thaw out that shrimp Saturday night. I'm going to make a veggie platter with dip and uh, also some hummus. And then I'm going to make some loaded nachos. Um, I have plenty of ground beef. I'll just fry up a little ground beef with some taco seasoning. And then make some loaded nachos, which I do in my oven. Um, I'm going to do some turkey burgers. I have three turkey burgers in my house, in my kitchen fridge, that I will thaw out um, and pan fry. I'll make the broccoli tots that I have in my garage freezer. And then a salad. I have some pork chops to use up, which I'll make. We'll probably grill them because we're about to go into another warm front here. So we'll grill those up. I'll make some pierogies and some roasted vegetables. One night we're going to do breakfast for dinner. I have that artisanal bread in my freezer that you guys saw earlier. So I'll make French toast. I have plenty of bacon, so I'll cook up one of the pounds of bacon. And then I'll cut up some fruit. One night I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use those Purdue chicken tenders and toss them in buffalo like wing sauce. And I'll do a big dinner salad with buffalo chicken tenders on top and then some kind of bread. Um, sticking along the theme with bacon, I'll make some BLT, some hash brown casserole, and some toss salad. Um, I can probably do, um, for these two meals, I can probably use one pound, I have a three pound thing of bacon, to get both of these meals, um, which will be nice to use that up. Um, hash brown casserole, toss salad, and then one night I'm going to do the beef enchiladas with those corn tortillas. I'll make some yellow rice, and then I'll just do some chips and salsa. So really easy, and then continuing on in the near future, it'll be pretty similar with going through my freezer and kind of whittling things down and being able to use up as much as I possibly can. And of course, I will keep you guys posted every step of the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great, safe weekend, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.